was weird because at the same time, you were dearer to me than ever. It's harder than you might think to get an American accent right. But as I found out, anyone can do it with a little bit of practice and five simple steps. All sorts of things. I'm here with Troy Mackinder, who's the author of Practically Speaking, and he's going to tell me a little bit about how to nail an authentic American accent. So, Troy, can you tell me, you've mentioned that there's five steps to speaking like an American. Absolutely. What's the first one? Okay, well, the first one is resonance. We have resonance because we have this thing called soft palate. Soft bit up there and the tongue, the soft palate is up and the tongue is down. We kind of create a megaphone. Whereas Australians have a fallen soft palate and tongue up. So the sound kind of goes through this area and kind of dies right here for the Australian. Where the Americans just kind of pierce right through. So you can hear what an American says across the room, uh, even though they're not being loud. What's number two? <laughs> uh, number two is, is emphasis of words within a sentence. The Americans have a very sing-song quality of sound, okay? And we also go down at the end of sentences. We make statements even when we're asking questions. So how are you going? Okay, so it's, it's a downward sound. And Australians tend to be, and this is comparatively, this is not a judgment or anything, it's, it's more monotone with little peaks, and then it rises up at the end of sentences. Now, the reason for that is the stress, uh, emphasis of words within a sentence. So you, to take a sentence like, I like your car, Australians tend to emphasize, I, your car, whereas Americans are, are a little bit more economical. We only say the words that we mean, like car, I like your car. Okay, number three. Number three is stress of syllables with, within the word. My favorite word is aluminum. If you look at the syllables, first three syllables, Australian stress one and three, aluminium. And an American stress two, aluminum. All right, number four. Number four are the vowels. Australians tend to elongate a lot with their vowels, and, and, and certainly they create what's called diphthongs, which are like two sounds. Uh, and for instance, if, if you're talking about your boat, you say boat, boat. Whereas American is very short and quick, boat. It's a very singular sound. The last one is the R's. The important thing to understand is that Australians do say their R's. They just don't say their R's. And this is generally speaking, but they just don't say their R's at the end of syllables or at the end of words. Oh, car. Cool. Now, <laughs> we've done our work. Now, let's just say the line. I like a jelly donut, please. I like jelly donut, please. That was not too bad, actually. Okay. You actually got like... Jelly was big. Mm. Please was there. Mm. The downward inflection. Mm. I'm listening to that. Yeah, that was really good, actually. Yeah. Do I get the donut now? <laughs> you, you get the donut. Here, i got to go buy yeah. you one now. That's great.